Hi, this is Andrew Whitfield from H2SO. And recently I had the privilege to come over to Tallinn and speak to a number of business owners and businesses uh, with the Estonian Chamber of Commerce on how to enter the UK marketplace via online channels. And during the time that I was there, it was evident that we didn't have enough time to go into all areas of the topic and topics in as much depth as possibly we would have liked to. So what I've done is I've come back to the UK and I've created a series of videos based upon that presentation and each one is titled so you can go and pick out the areas that you wanted more information from at that point of time or you can watch the whole series on them. Now I was asked a number of questions before I came over and one of the questions um, that I asked and I'm going to address at this point is Estonia being an EU member and the UK about to leave the EU is the timing right for Estonian companies to enter the UK market? Well obviously my answer is going to be yes. I believe it is. I believe there's actually lots of opportunity here. Now I'm not saying that Brexit isn't going to be an issue and it's possibly going to cause you more administration it's potentially going to have a VAT implication but hey the UK is a trading island we bring product into the UK from all over the world so we already pay taxes when we import things from the USA we're bringing things in from China and Asia all the time so as a trading island we are used to importing the cost of import and the fact that that cost that you will incur, perhaps an extra administration assistant, things like that, that cost is going to be passed on to us. Now, there will be some grumbling, there will be some complaints from the British public who are going to be the end users, regardless of whether you're dealing business to business or business to consumer, there is going to be an impact on the end user who, in most cases, will be a consumer of some description that impact is going to be financial. Now, we will complain about it in the UK for six months, 12 months, 18 months. The press will get behind it and there will be a little bit of rattling of uh, the sabres, as we say in the UK, by the press against prices having to go up and things like that. So there'll be some rocks, rocky um, waves, if you like. There'll be some bumps in the road that you'll need to address. But at the end of the day, you're going to pass on any of those extra costs to the UK consumer and the UK consumer over time will get used to it. That's at the worst case scenario. Best case scenario is everything just carries on almost as normal, possibly with a little layer of administration and we end up with no VAT problems. Brilliant if that's the case. The island is growing. At the moment, it's about 66 million people. By the year 2040-41, the forecast by the Office of National Statistics, whose information I use throughout this presentation, uh, is around about 74 million people. And somewhere in the region of 44 million of those people are going to be working and earning money they may be your target audience. Target audience we're going to talk about in a little while. Now as I'm recording this you will hear some background noise. You might hear the dog barking if somebody comes to the property where I'm working at at the moment and you'll definitely hear the click of the mouse. So what I'm going to do now is come back to you on the first part of the presentation which is the law of diffusion and innovation but we go into a little bit more detail than just that. Now I use a mind map system for my presentations which gives you a little bit more information. There are some attachments to these as well. I have made those available to, um, to this presentation and to the team in the Estonian Chamber of Commerce but there should be some links on here and you should be able to get those as downloads and spreadsheets, etc. So, see you on the next video.